Howdy folks, welcome to episode 7. Today we are going to look at the update and see if we can get our cordwood put in here. But yeah, they, they made an update, so I want to check that out real quick. Um, let me see if... Check out some of this stuff on there. So, they did a couple things, and we'll get rid of these trees, I think. Because we're going to need to be able to get to the other side, right? And yeah, we'll get rid of the trees and see if we can maybe, I think we might need a little bit smaller radius on this, or is that, no, that looks like it's good. Okay, cool, cool, we're gonna be able to do that. Okay, so um, now we have a new, hey, they actually changed the, they made it so that it moves a lot faster too now. But one of the things they did was when you're in building mode, so you just select a rail, now you're in flying mode. So, and you can go a lot faster, like this. There we go, you can move a lot faster. So that's pretty cool. That's, yeah, that's pretty nifty. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get, um, we're gonna get some cars. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna get some cordwood cars and use those instead of the one that we have right now. So why don't we put the track on here? You know what, we're gonna have to get rid of this, aren't we? Before we do that. So yeah, they, they also added in knuckle couplers. Um, they haven't they haven't hot fixed it, so we may run into some other you know showstopper bugs that crash the <laughs> they crash the game or whatever. We'll see. But anyway, um, yeah, they added in they added in some stuff. So we'll see. They added in a new engine too, so we're gonna check that out. Um, that definitely we want to get rid of that one. But yeah, let's let's get this little siding in here if we can. Where'd it go? It was right here. It was there. It is. It keeps. <laughs> I love when it disappears like that. Is this a? I think this was a. I think this was a fixed. Let's see. Let's go like this, and then we're gonna go. Um, we're going to go like this and see if we can put this on the inside. So let's go like, whoops, go like this. See if we can get this on the inside of this to stick. Is it going to let me? Yeah, see, we got to do this sort of deal too. There. Is it going to let me put it there? Come on, you can do it. It's it's not it's not letting me it's not letting me place the track. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? I d I'm doing the the low piece. That's why. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to try this again. But yeah, they whoops. Let's try this. So, let's see if we can get whoops. We're going to go like this. And we're going to get a little bit, because this is a siding, so we should be able to just um, go a lot smaller radius with this, because we're not, definitely not going to be pushing hard and going up and down hills and all that stuff with, with this. So it's, as, I, as I say that, right? Right as I say that, we need to go uphill. Okay. And then we're going to put an end track device on here. Let's go like this. There we go. I don't know where I picked up end of track device instead of buffers. It might have been from Heist, I don't know. <laughs> I still, I think it's funny that I say that, that I picked up that term. Of all the terminology that I don't pick up, that one I definitely always use for some reason. Usually I make up my own silly terminology instead. All right, so anyway, yeah, we're going to get our cordwood in here. So let's get our train here. Let's do this. What was the other thing when you're doing? There's one other thing when you're doing that um, you fly, too. So they added in, they, they updated the interface, too. Let's see what we have as far as fuel. Yeah, we're, at, we're fine. We're at 80%. Okay. 
So see, look, they they um, updated the controls. How cool is that? All right, so let's go like this, and we're gonna back up. Oh, you know what? We need to um, flip the switch. Here, let's go back this way. You know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna accidentally lay down a piece of track on top of my train and and blast it into space. I know that's what's gonna happen one of these days. Okay, so let's jump in here. All right, is it gonna reset? It's gonna reset my view every time and it's still backwards okay so we're gonna go regulator reverser all right we're good there we go is it there it didn't take that was weird there we go all right, and I think we're doing a slight downhill here. So we'll give it a little bit of break. We'll give it a break. We'll cut it off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> All right. So I, as you can see, I don't have the mod running now, the um, Railroads Online Extended. Although I am I might still run it because I love the little mini-map, especially when we're pulling cars up to the thingy. That mini-map is really useful. So I may, let's see. Cool, you can still do that too. All right. But yeah, we're just gonna get this out of the foul and then we'll bring the other train, I think. We'll build and, and bring another train in order to do this. And I think we're just gonna have enough length to do that. Because we're like almost at the end there. We're almost at the end. Okay. There we go, perfect. All right, so yeah, you can you can stop now. All right, cool. And then okay, so we've got that. And then we're gonna we need to do is we need to get our um, we need to get our track that goes up to the cordwood thing. So we're gonna we are here. We need to go down to the logging camp. <laughs> and, and if you put in a if you put in a thingy. <laughs> I love this. If you put in a, uh, do I have a, do I have a, there we go. Okay. That looks much better. Yeah. If you put in the, the, the teleport box, the telegraph station before it's, before the logs are filled, you get that. <laughs> so there's that. But, um, yeah, let's see if our cordwood, our cordwood is over here on this side. So yeah, we need to, we need to branch in. So let's get some track laid here, and we'll get this set up so that we we can get this done. So we do one percent, one degree. We'll get this. Whoops. We'll get this lined up as precisely as we can. Here. There we go. Like that. That looks like that looks like our alignment. Okay. So we want to be out here a little bit. And then we're gonna do um, this. We're gonna lay it straight. There we go. And then we're gonna extend this out here. Looks like I'm stuck in the track, yeah. Okay, and we're gonna extend this out here. Let's see if we can go like, where's our, there it is, okay. I was looking for our zero meter, our meters radius indicator. We're gonna come all the way out to here. Because then what we can do is we can make those we can make those meet on the other side too. Let's get rid of these trees just so that when we come down here we're not goofing around with that. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to bring our track down to here somewhere. So we'll see what we've got as far as segments. Let's see, let's go like this. There we go. And we're gonna go like this. That's weird. Oh, that's because we're still on 100. Let's go like this. Okay, so I'm just looking at where we wanna be as far as, it's out here-ish. 
is where we want our joint to be. Okay, so let's find where our our nearest joint is. Let's go like this. It's probably just going to be here. Can we demolish this one? There we go. I, yeah, I was thinking that. I'm like, that's probably going to be like super duper long. Okay, so we're going to go back to here. And we'll bring this one straight out. And then we'll worry about getting the the other one. So this one's going to go to here, right? About here-ish. And then we're going to lay in a switch to the left. And I'm wondering if we should put in multiple switches or put something off to the right. I think we should put in a three-way. That's what we should do. Put in a three-way switch. And then we're going to go like this. Nope, it's going to be that one. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, we're going to put in a three-way switch, and then we're going to connect that. We're going to demolish this rail. Can we do it? There we go. And then we're going to connect this one out here. And then we'll worry about the other thingy later. But we can put, we can put a nice big siding and a yard and all that stuff on here when we want to. That switch is set to where we want to go. Cool. And then we're going to go like this. There. Beautiful. Okay. So that's everything set up. Let's go to our not here on our map. Freight Depot. That's where we want to be. Let's go over here. And, oh, I was going to say, what's the bell? I'm like, what's ringing? It's Betsy. Uh, not industries. What we want to do is we want to put in um, locomotives. We want to buy locomotives. So let's see. They added in a snowplow. That was one of the other things they added in. So that's kind of cool. We'll see about, holy cow, 19,000. Did I add like a whole ton of money? Class 125. They said there was a... Uh, um, Set Lima 280. They said there was a um, class 47 or something. There's 70. Let me see. Cause we're going backwards. Yeah, they said something about the class 47. I don't think that's new though. Isn't the class 47 an old one that we've had for quite a while? Because it's way in the middle. They did something with the class 47. But yeah, they added in. There's the baggage car. Cool. Snowplow. Okay. There's all these. So we need, let's close this. Let's go back. We're going to buy, I'm pretty sure that was this one that had the, the high top speed. Let's see. How much is it? It's 20,000. Class one. Is that what we already have? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at that. You know what? Let's go look at our... Let's go look at our um, thingy and see what we have. Because I think maybe we already have a, a class 125. I'm going to run over here. Yeah, I think I probably do want to still put on the mod and increase the running speed because this is a little slow. Yeah, that's the class. Yeah, see, that's the class 125. We already have one of those. Okay, let me look up the notes and see what it says, and then I'll be right back. And this is, these are the, these are the, um, the wood, not the, yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, let me look up and see what the other new engine they were talking about so that we can get that and play around with it. So I will be right back. All right, we're back. I went and looked it up. It is the class 47. I had to change the time of day because I spent so much time looking around for the theodolites that they supposedly added in, but I can't find them anywhere. So it's it tells you um, it tells you the gradient on the ground and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, we want to get let me see. We want to get our cordwood, right? Where's our cordwood? There we go. We want to get these and we're gonna do 
I don't know, four, five, six of those, something like that. So we're going to order these. really wish there was a way to do this without having to go through a, a million menu items. 14, 15, something like that, right? I can't tell. <laughs> All right. And... Um, 14? Yeah, okay. And we're gonna get... Where are they... Where are they putting them? Where are those landing... Oh, they're putting them up there. Oh, interesting. Okay. Apparently they're, um... They're allowed to... To do that. Okay, cool. Let's see. Cordwood. There we go. We're gonna go like that. And then we're gonna order, um... Let's see. We're going to do a couple more. There we go. Cordwood. Yeah, we'll get six of them. And then, um, yeah, so that's the other thing that it does is when you're re-railing. Whoops. When you're re-railing. Um, cordwood. Okay. When you're re-railing stuff, it puts you in fly mode. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. There we go. Um, you know what we need to do is we need to get the locomotive. Let's get the let's get the class 47. See where it is. It's a whole lot of things, isn't it? 10 mile. Oh, you know what it was? We had the class 48 before. That's okay. Maybe that's where I saw that. Class 47. Okay. And this is gonna be two, and we're gonna call this, I don't know, <laughs> something, 42. Now, we, we gotta come up with a name for it, and then the tender, and then let's see what the smokestacks, cool, here, let's go like this. Let's check out the headlights and stuff. Oh, they got antlers and stuff too, oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's do the moose antlers. That's totally absurd. All right, let's see what the paint jobs are. It's not it's not super absurd, but okay. Um, only four paint jobs. I suppose we'll try the red, that brownish red one there, and then I'm sure that's iron. Um, smokestack. See what we got. Let's do the huge smokestack on this one. All right. Yeah, we'll have to come up with a name for it. We got Old Mo. <laughs> I don't want to do Old Larry. That's that's way too obvious, right? All right. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll figure something out. <laughs> um, and let's see. Is there anything else we need to do before we? Yeah, we're just gonna order it. I'll come up with a name later. Something. Right? And then... We're, that's going to be our placeholder. <laughs> Alright. Does it say something? <laughs> it says something. Alright. So we're going to do re-rail. What's cool is you can hit the jump button. As you can see. Let's go like this. See if we can... There we go. Okay. So we need to put that, we're going to put that over here, because that's where our thingy is, right? Can we do it? There we go. That's where our, um, whatchamacallit, our logging camp is going. I hope that's where the logging camp is. It's going to be a long way back. Come in. You can do it. There we go. Okay. So... I don't think I mentioned it, but the other thing they've got here is the knuckle couplers. So we'll see how well those work. This needs to be spun around the other way. There we go. And I don't think this has the knuckle coupler on it. Nope. Okay. So let's get this fueled up. And we'll see how well these... Is it going to go? It didn't go. Where's the... It's not showing me, huh? 
Let's try this again. See if we can get some fuel in here. There we go. Okay. It's not going to tell me. All right. Well, we just we'll get this at least started, and then we're going to have to figure out where the coupling is on that. It looks like it's down in there. Okay. So yeah, they they got knuckle couplers, and you can. Um, interesting. Is that? Do we have to open them? I think you have to open them to to un. <laughs> I like how the the buttons still work. Oh, they pin they pin them into there. Uh, interesting. Okay. So anyway, yeah, let's get the rest of these lined up here on this other track. I think we just got the one. Okay. We're gonna re-rail this one. We're gonna re-rail the flat car here. There we go. Okay, this one we're gonna put the brakes on. Hopefully it won't have problems. Okay, so yeah, in the um, in the options gameplay, it's here. Automatic couplers on and off. So you can you can switch them. You can switch them if you want. So you can still do the old style couplers, um, and they're obviously these are still being worked on, so they may or may not be buggy and that kind of stuff. I think there's, I think there's difficulty with them coming off or some deal like that. I don't know, but anyway, we'll, we're gonna run them and try them anyway, and we'll see how that works out. And then we gotta get, I think we gotta get that brake. Is it gonna tell me what level the brake is at? It's not going to tell me, is it? Nice. It doesn't give me the indicator anywhere. It just... Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, well, it's all the way to the left, which used to be... Oh, did I do... Did I hit the Y key and hide the vehicle UI? No. Does this just not... Can we not F the engine? There we go. Okay. No, we got it now. All right. And let's see if our pressure is up yet. Our boiler is still at zero, isn't it? Let's see. Let's see if our whistle goes. Nope, whistle doesn't go yet. <laughs> there it is. We have the tiniest bit of pressure. Okay. So anyway, they did a couple other things. Um, let's get let's get going in reverse here. See if we can get this thing moving. There we go. Because we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need a little bit of power. Let's see if we can get this to... There it is. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's get a little bit more regulator here. So see, the knuckle couplings are just going to automatically latch on. There we go. Are the brakes on all of these? I think the brakes are on all of these. That's what it is. Okay, let's go turn off the brakes on all of these. That's why. I forgot about that. It automatically starts with the brakes on. And I think when you re-rail it, it puts the brakes on. So you know what? We can actually, we don't need to put the brakes on the last one, do we? Because we're going to hit it and then we're just going to reverse. So let's turn the brakes off. All right, cool. And then let's get going this way. And we'll start hitting F here so we can get in. There we go. All right, cool. Because that would suck if we can't hit F. <laughs> right. All right, we'll let this coast backwards. And then let's make sure that we are actually on the right thing. Do we have air? We have air pressure too. Okay. We got them all. All right. Let's make sure that we are going to the right place. The logging camp. Let's see. The logging camp goes... That's this... Is that this one? Let's see. Yeah, we're heading for the logging camp. Okay, cool. That's the one. <laughs> that's, 
need signs on here. I need to put signs on the track, right? Tell me which one is which. Okay, let's do it then. We're gonna go forward. Alright, we're gonna let this get around the corner first. Because this thing is supposed to be able to do some serious speed, so we'll see. I should probably save the game, huh? Yeah, let's go like this. We're going to save the game. Um, episode 7B. Yes. Alright. Back. Continue. F. There we go. Alright. There we go. Cool. So let's get some speed going here. See what kind of speed we can get. It said it's supposed to hit like 40. Something like that. It looks like it's only going 20, so I don't know. And it's slowing down. <laughs> are we going downhill? Are we going uphill? Maybe we're going uphill a little bit. Yeah, let's go like this. I'll turn this down a little bit. Maybe that's a little loud. That's going to go over my voice, right? There we go. And we did set our triple switch before we got there. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, cool. I could have swore they said it was way faster, but it sure doesn't look like it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to let the thing... Where's our bell now? What are these? Yeah, I don't see the bell thing. I like the little hissy sounds and stuff when you activate and deactivate the brakes and stuff. That's pretty cool. Alright. Slow down the yard speeds here. Let's see, here's going to be the trick, because we got to park these in the right spot. And let's see if we can get them parked. There we go. Okay, let's see if our, wood, our cordwood is going to go. Now, somebody said something about um, the logging camp wasn't reloading. I don't know if it was just the logs or if it's also the cordwood. We'll see. We'll see if the cordwood re reloads. Oh, cool. That's right. We've got, um, we've got the speed loading on. Cool. So we don't have to wait 20 minutes. All right. We're going to go like this. Are they not loaded? Oh, they're doing eight. That's right. They're eight per thing. I was thinking it was six per. Let's see. We need to bring up two car lengths. So that's one car length, right? And we'll get, we got to get this one up to here. If we can. It gets trickier the farther back you go, doesn't it? So that was, what, 16 of them? We'll see if the, we'll see if the cordwood refills or not. Because <laughs> that's going to be interesting. All right. 
Let's see if we can get these loaded. 24? Yeah, they're reloading. Cool. Okay. Unless it's loaded eight out of each of those two. Unless that those are two separate, I think those are two separate things and they didn't reload. But there's 64. So yeah, we have enough. Okay, we have enough capacity. There's two. Yeah, because we can load eight cars out of that. All right, let's take off the brake. Let's get moving here. There we go. Now the trick is trying to get this last set up here. Do they need like the tool, like the theodolite. They need a, a dude that you stand there and they raise their arm when the when the empty car lines up with this with them or something like that you know what I mean this when the end or the middle of the empty car lines up with them they raise their arm that would be kind of a cool thing to do alright I can't tell if that's where we need to be but let's see it looks like it yeah looks like we're lined up okay but you know what I mean? It's like you place it and it just stands here. Like this. And then when the front of the car or the center of the car, whatever it is, then they make some signal. They hold up a lantern or they hold up their arm or whatever it is. Okay, cool. So we're going to do this. We're going to load this up and then we're going to go back to the thingy here. Let's do this too. While they're doing that. Let's see where our fuel is. What is this switch right here? I can't tell what that switch is. Yeah, I can't tell what those switches are supposed to do. Um, oh, there's the fuel. Okay, so that's our fuel. That's our water. That's our sand indicator. That's cool. Is that the sander? I'll bet that's... Oh, that's the sander. Okay. And then this is the... I don't know what that is. We already have compressor and generator. Sander and the... Oh, you know what it is? It's the... the. Yeah, okay. It lets the pressure out of the... It's the... The thingies up here. Yeah, those. The cylinder thingies. Okay. <laughs> I suddenly can't remember the word for it. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, there's no bell. Where's the bell? On the interface. I'm not seeing the bell anywhere. Cylinder cocks, that's what it is. Cool. I think we mentioned that, that, that yeah, that air brakes on modern trucks and stuff like that have the same sort of deal. Because you compress the air and water and uh, you compress the air, water condenses out of it, and it collects in the bottom of the cylinders. So there's a little release on them. You're supposed to do it at the end of each day. So when you go for your air brakes, uh, oh, you know what? We're going to go down a hill, so I think we're just going to let it do the hill. But yeah, when you go for your air brakes endorsement on your CDL, you got to know that that you're supposed to let the let the water and and or alcohol because they put alcohol in the system to keep the water from messing things up. All right. Anyway, we're going 40. I think 40 is going to be sufficient. I kind of like it that we have that instead of a digital thermometer or speedometer. We're going to slow way down for this corner. There we go. Yeah, we can do 20 around that corner. I don't think I feel right going 40, 40 around that corner. I don't think I don't think that's a <laughs> very doable thing. All right, let's go like this. Let's see what kind of speed we can get going. Oh, well, there we go. It must be a slight. It must be a slight downhill right here because we were only able to hit 20 on the uphill on the way in. It must be, yeah.
All right, and we're gonna. We're gonna let this slow down again here in a second. There we go. Down the. There we go. So we're gonna back all the way up past the switch so that we can switch tracks. And, oh, the other thing that they added, we're gonna check out real quick, is, let's see, they did the um, engine house and turntable. So they added a new turntable that'll fit the bigger engines. And they also, um, they added a new engine house. So let's check that out. All right. Let's check that out. We're going to go over here and facilities, engine shed. Look at the size of that engine shed. How cool is that? That's pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's go check it out. Did the doors open? I'm not able to open the doors. Okay. But anyway, yeah, they have this underneath. You can go underneath and... and check out your uh, train for the underneath and then there's something about they're supposed to refill when you park them here it refills the water and stuff like that automatically so that'll be cool I kinda like that and I think we'll have to add that somewhere we'll probably put that at the end of this we'll put a roundhouse or something but let's go over to here we gotta make sure that we're on the right track <laughs> literally and let's go like we're gonna go up to the iron smelter so that's the one up the hill Okay, so we need to go here, and then we need to go left. Okay, yeah, that's going to take us to the right one. Because what's the other way? That must be the... Oh, it's the sawmill. Okay, the other one is the sawmill. All right, cool. You know why I can't tell is because we don't have the, the in-game map now. That's what it is. Okay, all right, regulator... Reverser. All right. Cool. I'm just looking at the air thingy. There we go. All right. We're going to take it easy around this corner because <laughs> it's a bit much, right? And I think our switches should be set to take us to the, to the whatchamacallit. There we go. There we go. All right. Our, our switches should be set up to take us to the, to the thing. See, we can't look at our map while we're driving either, which kind of sucks, right? Yeah, I do like the I like the smokestack and I like the thingy. Is there smoke coming out of the smokestack or is it coming a little low, isn't it? <laughs> smoke is a little low out of the smokestack. I think we need to go past the switch and then back in. I think that's what we need to do here. Okay. We just gotta get up the hill first. Alright. I love these woods here. Alright, looks like we're going downhill now. Or we're on level ground, one or the other. Is this where our, our little switch is? Yeah, I think so. It's right up here. Yeah, I'm not seeing the bell anywhere. Maybe it's on here somewhere that I'm not seeing. But okay, so we need to go. Do we need to go left? Whoops, break. 
I think they all do the same. Yeah, they all do the same thing. Okay. They all go the same direction. We're going to turn on our lights, too. Oh, cool. I love that that lights up. That's pretty cool. Okay. And we don't have, like, a triple switch that we're going to... Okay, no, we don't have a triple switch. Okay. <laughs> so we just need to get past these switches, and then we'll flip that one, and we can back into the... Whoa, what was that? Why is that? What, why? What happened there? Oh, it's... The switch is... The switch is wrong? Let's see. Is the switch going the wrong way, and we screwed up because the switch is going the wrong way? Is it back to this? Where you have to have the switches on the correct direction? Huh, okay. So we're that way, and that is correct. Okay. Let's see. We're going to need to re-rail this. This one. Nope, over here. This way. On this track. Oh, I see. There's a tree right there. That's why. We came off because of the tree. There we go. No, 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 no. There we go. That should be sufficient to stop it. All right. We need to get this logging. There we go. Okay, we got it. And hopefully we can get into this. All right, cool. And hopefully this is... Let me double check. We're going to go forward. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. We're going to do this first. Oh, no, it was... Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll take out the brakes. Is it going to go? Alright. So we need to... It's in here somewhere. Is that in or out? Yeah, I can't tell if that's on or off. That sucks. All right, let's go like this. Go forward. Nope. I hate that you can't... Okay, turn on our lights. There it is. Okay. I hate that you can't... Um... You can't do the, you can't move the controls more than like once per second, you know? You have to wait a second. You, you can't just like slide it up and then slide it back down right away. You can't just go, doo -doo. you have to like, you turn the regulator and then, there we go. You turn the regulator and then you have to wait a second before you can change it again. All right, let's go. I can't believe we missed a tiny little thing. Why is the light not on? Huh. That's weird. Okay. We'll have to check that out and see if um, when we when we get out to flip the switch and stuff, we'll see if we can have to turn on the lights the other way or if they just didn't finish the model yet. They didn't get the lights into the model yet. That's possible. But I think that's my lantern in the cockpit here. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. We gotta get past that switch. There we go. Alright. Let's see if this is... There we go. Okay, well, yeah, we have to click it to turn it on. And is there one on the back? I don't think there's one on the back. Can we put a lantern on the back? See if there's a spot to put the lanterns. No spot to put lanterns. Okay. Now that the sun's coming up anyway. <laughs> right. We're too late. The sun's already coming up. Okay. 
That's fine too. We can turn off our lamp. It's kind of distracting when you're running. Okay. Let's get in here and go. Come on. You can do it. There we go. All right. And reverser. There we go. It lights up a little behind us. Okay. I think they said they, they fixed those logs. Um, remember the logs that were like the laying down tree and then when you hit it with the thing it like acts like it's disappeared but then it's still there and then you can't click it again I think they fixed that too that was one of the things listed in the bug fixes okay this is this is kind of a tricky thing so we probably want to take it easy yeah we'll take it a little easy down this I think we're like going down a hill and around the corner and all that stuff There we go. And we'll see if we can get this in here. You know what I didn't do? I didn't flip the switch back the other way, did I? Yeah, the I gotta flip that switch too. Okay. Alright, let's go like this. Let's flip this switch so that we can go past this without run, running into the other train. <laughs> that always helps. It's always a good thing. Okay, so we got to come back a couple more car lengths. You can't tell from back here, right? Let's see. There we go. So I think we got to come back until, yeah. We can come back until the front of the engine's about there. Yeah, let's see. This is what I'm talking about. You can't do that. You have to do that and then that, and it takes a second. All right. Let's see if that'll get us to where we need to be. Let's see if we can unload those. I don't think I'm going to unload all of these. We'll see. Is it, is it there? Is it going to make it? Is it going to let me? Did it? Yeah, it did. It took. Okay, good. All right. We're going to let him unload them. Cool. And then we already have the iron, right? We unloaded the iron. Yep, we've got iron too. Cool. So that's going to be it for episode seven. Join me in episode eight. I will get the rest of that unloaded off screen. Cool. Off camera, whatever. I'll get the rest of that unloaded because we've done enough for today. <laughs> And that's going to be like really fiddly and stuff. And I'll probably turn on the map and all that fun stuff too. But anyway, yeah, we'll get that unloaded. And then we're going to probably, I think we need to bring these cars on the other train back over to here to load them up. So yeah, that's going to be it for episode 7. Join me in episode 8. We'll get our new, our rails and raw iron. I think that's our coal mine that we got to get started. And we'll see you then. Later.